everyone, welcome back to another at home science experiment. Today we are going to be doing our tie dye milk experiment. It's super fast but super cool. So, all you need for this is some milk. It has to be dairy based, but it doesn't matter if it's 1%, 2%, um, doesn't matter what kind. Um, and you need some food coloring, and the more the better, but you really only need one for it to work. But like I said, the cooler it will look the more with the more that you have. Um, a shallow bowl, and then a Q-tip, and some dish soap. So once you gather all these materials together, we can get started. So I have all of my materials ready. I've already poured my milk into a shallow bowl, um, and you don't have to fill it up much. You just want to make sure it's covering the whole bottom. Um, and then I do have my food coloring ready. I'm using three different colors. You can use more. Um, that'll make it look really cool, but this is the three I'm using. But like I said, feel free to use as much as you want. Um, and then I also have a Q-tip and my dish soap. So gather all of these materials and pour your milk into your bowl. And now you want to add your food coloring into the center of your bowl of milk. So. And when you do this, here I'm going to add my blue. You don't want your food coloring to be right on top of each other, but you do want them to be pretty close together. So here is an example of what that should look like. Um, so go ahead and pause and add your food coloring to your milk. And the next step is to add your soap into the mixture. So you want to put a little bit on the end of your Q-tip like I have done here and just stick it in the center of your food coloring mix. So I'm going to let you guys do this first to see the magic happen. So go ahead and pause and do this. Our milk was able to create a tie-dye art effect. Try using different combinations of colors to create your favorite colorful art out of your milk. Or experiment with what happens when you add food coloring right on top of one another or farther away from each other. So what's the science behind this experiment? When you add the soap into the milk, the surface tension is reduced. The soap also reacts with the fat that is contained in the milk. This interaction causes the fat particles in the milk to move around and create the colorful tie-dye pattern. So the book that I recommend to pair this experiment with is called The Day the Crayons Quit. And it's an awesome book. It's really interesting, all about color. And we just did a lot of work with color using our food coloring in our milk. So um, perfect together. If you guys want to check that out, um, it's an awesome read. But I hope you guys enjoyed our tie-dye milk experiment. And I will see you next time.